And I love pumpkin, so I've used the two to make this dish. And since, so you've the John Dory here, lovely, lovely fish. And then what are the ingredients for the, the John Dory? I'll marinate the fish with ajwain seeds. Uh, which are kind of celery seeds, but they belong to thyme family. They, sorry, they do have a hint of thyme in them, don't absolutely, they? Absolutely, absolutely. And it's very cliche of uh, cooking Indian food with, yep. when, when it comes to seafood cooking. Okay. Turmeric, ginger and garlic paste, and a pinch of garam masala with lemon juice. Okay. So we'll marinate uh, the fish first. So for this, if you, if you can help me, Tom, sure. I'll give you a lemon. Perfect. You can just squeeze half a lemon in there for me. Yeah. And that'll be great. And what is it you love about the John Dory? I mean, I know you love this fish. It's a fantastic fish to uh, to take on any flavour, to be honest. It's chunky. Yep. Uh, and it's still delicate. Uh, uh, I always like John Dory because it's got a particularly firm flesh. It takes, yes. It tastes cooking very well. I that's think. true. That's true. So a little bit turmeric. of lemon juice in there. Turmeric, again, for the colour rather than the flavour. Yep. Ajwain seeds. A little bit of... Absolutely. Ginger, yep. How long does it you um, have to marinate the uh, fish for? So 10, 20 minutes is good enough, enough? for fish, in my okay. opinion, because it doesn't take long. So you want a light, okay. a light marination? Yeah, to absolutely it? light marination. You don't want something... Uh, if fish is sitting in too much in marinade, it's actually already cooked, in my yeah. opinion. Uh, do you want that in the fridge? If, if you could, please. That'd be okay. great. Oops, sorry, Tom. Let's that baby in. Now, so after about 20 minutes in the fridge, you've got this lovely colour on the fillets. A little bit of oil in here. Bit of oil, and yeah. if you can dust it on the flesh side. So you want that for get a really yeah. nice, not, crispy... Absolutely, not on the skin side. Okay. Butternut squash. Okay, butternut squash. Which is one of my favourite squashes in this country. And you cut it. It's kind of thick skin, so you just have to lose a bit of flesh also with this. In England, we're quite worried. We worry about these things slightly. I mean, what's the difference between the pumpkin and the butternut squash and the gourd? You know, all these different names. I think they all belong to squash family. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. And uh, I think you can, if you can fry that for me. Okay. Tom. Now, is this seasoned flour? I mean, it looks different from our normal flour. It's, it's more yellow. It's, it is. It's flour here. What, it is. What, what it's, is it? It's chickpea flour. Tom. Oh, chickpea. And you get those lovely fritters, don't you, on the street when you're in India? What are those? <laughs> yeah. Delicious of you. It, they, you, you can make pakoras or the onion bhajis in this country. Oh, right. They are made from this flour. Yeah. So they are very popular. Okay. For my Wait, nice soup. Thing. Yeah. I'll add chilies. And again, a little bit of heat there. Yeah. Ginger. Go to that, a bit of onions, and I don't need to cook through completely. Okay. okay. It's beautiful flavour. I mean, it, it, it's, it sort of releases that heat, all the smell and all the oils and the... Exactly. The chilies, wow. this is what I love about chilies. Mm. And again, you're yeah. not blasting people out with these chilies. It's about that back heat again, isn't it? Yeah. Add the pumpkin. Soak the pumpkin well. I would need a little bit of... Got a masala in there. So I love your spices. Do you get your spices sort of fresh every day delivered to the restaurant? I wish I could say that, Tom, but no. Spices are brought in uh, by uh, mills here, the spice yeah. mills. And they, they process it for me. So it's still uh, quite serious, having your own spice mill. Well, not your own, but it's, it's spice mill process. I wish it was. Still, you're having the things sort of ground fresh for you every day. OK, once the pumpkin is slightly coated in there, yeah. I'll add a dash of white wine. Now, you're quite a fan of wine, aren't you? I am. And I've heard little birdies told me that actually the, you're, you're now the sort of part proud owner of, of a vineyard in Hampshire. Oh, that was a secret, I thought. Was it? When it's all come out now, <laughs> nothing's a secret at Market Kitchen.